All right, so it's getting chilly outside, right? And it's getting windy. What better way to uh, combat that than to just watch some movies at home, right? Yes. Or get out to the theaters, anywhere in a climate-controlled area. It's indoors. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Josh Bell joining us to uh, talk some movies. Let's uh, let's talk. Yeah, let's. Um, we're going to start with a local movie, yeah. I think, this week. We've got... Uh, Stoner comedy slash uh, <laughs> horror movie called uh, Weed G's Halloween <laughs> Night. This is a, a locally produced film was shot uh, mostly at the Artisan Hotel, actually, from a local filmmaker named Danny Draven. Wow. It is, of course, for the Halloween holiday and some little creatures created by uh, Tom Devlin, who runs the Monster Museum out in Boulder City. So a whole local affair uh, that's out now on VOD. You can get it on Amazon or through uh, Full Moon Features, which is the company that created it. They have their whole own streaming service and they have a lot of funny kind of, they're, I'm sure it's not scary, but it's goofy, low budget fun to watch these movies. Full Moon does all sorts of weird stuff like this and it's cool that they're doing something here in town. I love that. In Entertaining indeed, yes. yes. All right, a movie with a true with true staying power. Uh, yes. Wizard of Oz celebrating 80 years and it'll be back in theaters. Yeah, it's uh, playing actually uh, over at the AMC Town Square uh, through later this week and it's playing in the Dolby Cinema there, so you can see it on a screen that, I mean, is bigger and probably more sophisticated than anything it was shown on <laughs> when it was first released, but they have amazing sound uh, and amazing picture in that Dolby Cinema, so if you've never seen The Wizard of Oz or you want to take your kids to something family-friendly, uh, they're playing it a few times a day through this week, and uh, that's really the most sophisticated way I think you can see that movie. Absolutely. If you've never seen Wizard of Oz, like, you have to go watch. That is one of the classics of all time. Of course. Uh, all right, let's talk about an Oscar-winning 2001 Japanese animated fantasy film called Spirited Away. What's this all about? Uh, Spirited Away is, as you say, it's a classic Japanese animated film from uh, Hayao Miyazaki, who is one of the masters of animated film. Uh, and this is part of this Studio Ghibli Fest series that uh, Fathom Events does, kind of as an ongoing basis once every month or two. Uh, this is maybe the most famous of the Studio Ghibli films. You can see that in local theaters on the 28th and 30th uh, of October. And it is a family-friendly thing. Again, like The Wizard of Oz, if you've got kids, it's actually got some similarities to The Wizard of Oz about a, a young girl going into a fantasy world and kind of discovering this whole uh, amazing world that opens up to her. So take your kids to The Wizard of Oz and then take them to Spirited Away. I Very was going to cool. say, one after the other. Yeah, why not? Yeah, okay, a woman with many talents, Debbie Isaacs, both a film producer and a, a, she started a charity for women. Um, tell us a little bit about the movie that she produced. Yeah, so this is another campy Halloween thing. <laughs> it's a film called Ghosts of Goldfield uh, that was shot in Nevada in the Goldfield, uh, like it's a ghost town, I believe. And it's funny, uh, Debbie Isaacs, who is the producer of this, and she's showing this as a benefit for her charity, Unshakable. she's billing this as a terrible movie. And I've never seen <laughs> This, but I think the idea is that people will come and kind of enjoy the campiness of it. Uh, donations are suggested for uh, this at-risk women's charity. Uh, it's showing at the space on October 29th and nice when filmmakers can have a bit of a sense of humor about themselves and then <laughs> make it something for a good cause as well. Exactly. If you're expecting terrible, then you can't walk away disappointed, right? There you right. Go. <laughs> and you get an audience together, people get together and kind of mock it in, in, in a spirit of fun. And That's always a good time. Yes. Yep. Uh, let's keep the Halloween horror theme going. We yes. have the Sci-Fi Center hosting a local indie horror night with two horror features from local filmmakers. Yeah, I'm glad we were talking about a lot of local films uh, in this segment. It's really cool to see that. Uh, this is uh, Drew Marvick, who's a great local horror filmmaker. His film called Pool Party Massacre, which I have seen, and which is uh, exactly what it sounds like, and is, is a lot of fun with some scantily clad ladies getting massacred as a, at a pool party. Uh, so that'll be showing at the Sci-Fi Center along with John Ward, another local filmmaker, his movie Meat Hook Massacre 4, which I haven't seen, so maybe I ought to go check out a couple different massacres from local <laughs> filmmakers, and that's for free at the Sci-Fi Center, which is a great local film venue. Uh, it's on October 30th at 7 p.m., so right before Halloween, go get in that spirit, maybe watch the Ouija's at home, <laughs> and a whole week of local indie horror. I feel very good about that. I was gonna say, between the Meat Hook Massacre, the Pool Party Massacre, and the Wizard <laughs> of Oz, there really is something for everyone. That is true. <laughs> it's that time of year, huh? Yes. yes. Yes, it is. Josh, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. Happy, Hall happy early Halloween to everyone. Yes. More news and weather coming up after the break.